Look. <laughs> real money? Yeah. It's real money. Oh, baby. There's nothing to worry about. Well, well. Nice and cozy. What are you doing here, Fisher? This is my old pal, Bert Lewis, from State Penn. You see what I tell you? There's no trouble finding him. What do you want? My friend here. He's got something to ask you. He wants to know how it thinks with Bill Logan. And if I was you, I'd tell him. Because my friend here is not a very nice guy when I get sore. <laughs> That's a real nice girl you got there, Lewis. You touch her and I'll kill you. You scream. You make hamburger out of you. Sit down. Start talking. We don't have all day. Don't! Shut up. We don't want to hurt him, sweetheart. All we want is for him to tell us how are things with Bill Logan. And I'll talk. You don't want to see your wife get pushed around? Well, Fisher, look. You got, you got something wrong here. I, I don't know any Bill Logan. <laughs> but you must have changed quite a lot since Rayford. You wasn't the guy who would have knocked off Adams then. I didn't kill Adams. No. Nobody never killed nobody. But it still figures. Adams came here looking for Bill Logan. Same as my friend here, right? Well, I... Somebody got stoned, you knocked them off. So where's Bill Logan? Right yeah, what about him? Wait a minute, Fisher. You know, Louis Ramirez. Yeah? He's not gonna like this too much. What about Ramirez? I don't know. He was pretty close to him at the pen. You think he's got a call on Louis? I'll show you what I think. I think he's stalling us until... Hold it! Coming here. Get out the back way. All right. We'll be seeing you, pal. <laughs> Walk straight ahead. <laughs> okay, Lewis. Talk to us. Tell us about Logan. Tell us about that stuff he hijacked. I want to see my wife and kid before I say anything. Suppose we already took care of them. What are you gonna do about it? Then you just did yourself out of what's left of 700,000 bucks worth of H. Okay, bring him in. Bird! All right, Mitch. Hey, good shape, you saw. Take him back inside there. Well, come on, sit down. Now, start talking, Lewis. All right, but uh, I got something I want to show you. It's in my pocket. Okay? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Is that the man you're looking for? Yeah, that's him. That's Logan. Where is he? Well, that, that man's dead. Three years. His real name is Halmar Bankstrom. Ethel's husband. Ethel? You mean that dame at the motel? Yeah. You guys been looking for a dead man. You were taken in by his widow. Talk. This guy's a great talker. Uh, well, wait, wait a minute. Uh, Halmar stole the stuff. And uh, Ethel must have known where he ditched it. And she wants to keep sitting on that 700,000 bucks that, uh, stuff that your, your boss thought was stolen, hijacked. Well, that's true. You must have been in on it. Well, no. Halmar and I, I were only partners in the boat. Uh, he used it when he was working for your boss. We know that. Why do you think we came after you? Well, Halmar and I weren't partners on this deal. You see, those days I was I was a big drunk. I, that's how Ethel was able to get me jammed up in it. How do you know all this? Did she tell you? I, I didn't know it until I, I got that picture from a guy named Hawkins. And, and I recognized Halmar and I sort of all f fell into place. You see, uh, when Adams came down here to get Logan. She, uh, Ethel got him loaded, and, and then she sent for me like it was a drunk call, you know? And uh, she put a note in his wallet to make me think he was after me.
You were sucker enough to fall for this? Uh, Ethel knew that if uh, I thought I was Logan and Adams was down here to kill me, she was pretty sure that I'd try to do something to Adams. And so you did? No. She had to take care of him herself. She must have gotten my gun from the boat and planted it. Well, I guess we go talk to the dame. Eddie, you stay here. If anybody makes a move, fix them up. 